Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to review the Blu-ray edition of Kirsten Stewart film Underwater. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I'll put out videos every single day. You can also find me over Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at MovieGuy365, as well as over at the Disney Magic Hour podcast. I'll put a link for that in the description. All right. Underwater is here on Blu-ray edition. Now, this is going to be 1080p only. Uh, of course, you know, standard Blu-ray. No 4K physical release has been uh, uh, announced or released, but a 4K edition is available digitally on iTunes and your other streaming platforms. Uh, but that being said, we're going to be reviewing the Blu-ray edition of this film and I just want to jump right in really quickly and just talk about it. Uh, I enjoy the film quite a bit. I'm not the biggest Kristen Stewart fan, but she's not the main, well, she's the main character, but it is kind of an ensemble piece and a lot of people I feel got an equal amount of uh, screen time and there was a, a bit of story there, um, but it doesn't waste any time. It's very brisk. Uh, I think it's uh, clocks in at just over an hour and a half or so, hour 45 minutes, and it moves fast. And it, there's a lot of action. There's like it's a fun movie. I enjoyed it. It's a you know it's an underwater action film. Uh, kind of has a nice little you know twist at the end, and I re I really dug it. I think uh, I think if you like. Um, good monster movie or a good action film, I think you're going to be very pleased with this one. All right, so before we talk about the picture quality and the audio, let's do a quick unboxing of the slipcover. Okay, we have the Blu-ray edition of Underwater released by 20th Century Fox. Uh, it's an okay cover, kind of gives you a little basic info on what's going on here. Um, as back cover goes, pretty standard stuff. And then we have the uh, spine. And then interior-wise, pretty much the same thing. Standard Blu-ray, nothing special there. So, all right, now let's talk about the picture quality and the audio. I've always felt that 20th Century Fox had a very strong showing when it came to their standard Blu-ray and uh, 4K releases. Uh, I feel picture quality and audio are both going to be greatly benefited here, and you know this is no exception. Underwater uh, it, it does take place in kind the the overall color palette does uh, lend itself to kind of a more dreary, uh, just more subterranean feel to it. Uh, there's not a whole lot of color here, um, but that being said, the overall image quality here is very it's very nice. It's it, it's uh, great clarity. It's crystal clear, in my opinion, the standard Blu-ray, and it has, uh, you know, that going for it. Um, but once again, color is not going to be a prominent thing here. Uh, it does it does pop in, especially in the back half of the film. Uh, there is a scene where there's a, a lot more, a little bit of red that comes through. Uh, that that's rendered here very nicely. Uh, the overall, uh, uh, you know, color the scheme, even though it's a bit muted. It works, that's the style of the film, and I think you're gonna be very pleased with the results. Uh, darker levels, I think, are really nice here. Uh, typically, there's going to be a bit of macro blocking, and I did notice it in a couple of those darker underwater scenes that did creep up once or twice here, but if, unless you're really looking for it, I think you're, you're, you're gonna be pleased overall that it's very solid as far as that performance goes. Uh, it doesn't creep up too much in that department. Uh, as detail goes, it looks good. Um, there's a big, fair amount of it throughout the film. A lot of the, the underwater deep dive suits are really nicely, you know, detailed here. And I think it would come out more, of course, over on the 4K side of things. But here on the Blu-ray, I think it's an overall very nice presentation. Uh, picture clarity here is key. I think really just that that really wins over the Blu-ray, in my opinion. It looks great, and if you're if you are not into 4K, you're going to be very pleased with the the results here on Blu-ray as far as picture quality goes. Also, equally impressive is going to be the DTS 7.1 audio mix. Very immersive. There's a lot going on here. It's a very impressive overall presentation here. It's it really does. I mean, from the first like 10, 20 seconds of the film. That thing is rocking, and it fills like it fills the room. The soundstage, your your personal living area where you're watching the film, is going to be fully immersed. Uh, just the the LFE is very aggressive. the The front speakers sound great. The center channel dialogue comes through clean, clear, easy to understand. The rears they have a lot to do. The mid levels, it all is brought together. Uh, there's a lot of discrete uh, channel 
activity. It does sound fantastic. It kicks in pretty much uh, sporadically throughout the film. Uh, if it's not immersive, it's going to be action. And I feel that it's really done very well. And it's, and it's, it's a very overall robust, just great audio mix here. It's very impressive. Oh, I mean, just the, as I said, the first 15 seconds or so, this, it sounds great. It's really going to let you know that this is this soundtrack and audio mix is here to play. So that's that's my review. I'm going to go ahead and give the scores for the picture quality and the audio. Picture quality, I'm going to give this one an A minus. I think it's very clear, very very nice, very minor little macro blocking, but really if only if you're looking for it. And it is beautifully just beautifully realized picture and it looks fantastic. Uh, as far as the audio mix goes, that's I'm gonna go ahead and give that a solid A. I think it's very strong. This DTS 7.1 knows what it's doing and it just lets you know from the offset that, hey, things are gonna be uh, pretty rocking for the next hour 45 and it does a great job uh, giving you your money's worth here and, and as far as the Blu-ray quality goes. So that's it. Let me know in the comments below if you had a chance to check out Underwater and what your thoughts were. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I put out videos every single day. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.